Well, the day started off with the Browns having to pivot Mary Kay. They were supposed to practice at about 11 o'clock, but right around 11 o'clock and actually a little before that, it just poured again for the second day in a row. So the Browns had to move practice to 2.30. Uh, they held a walkthrough instead. So again, just kind of these crazy conditions, a team that is used to having to pivot and make changes, they had to do it again here today. They absolutely did, but I'll tell you what, the skies brightened. <laughs> it became a beautiful day here at the Greenbrier after two days of rain and thunderstorms and craziness and pivoting. Uh, they were able to get a really nice practice in this afternoon in shells out on the grass. It was very productive. They did a seven on seven period. They did an 11 on 11 period and they really got a lot of good work in after they had to switch things around. Now on the practice field, like you were mentioning, very competitive and Deshaun Watson did throw today, especially in team settings and some individual stuff. He kind of just went through the footwork and didn't throw the football, but he did throw today not a great start, but he did finish strong. That's right. In individual drills, he was a little bit off. It took him a, a minute to warm up. But then when he got into seven on sevens and 11 on 11s, he did a really nice job. In the 11 on 11 period, which they haven't done that a ton. Again, they were in shells today, not pads. But he went five for five in 11 on 11s. That's really, really good. And then, of course, and then in red zone drills, he threw a lot of touchdown passes again in the red zone. So it was a second straight time that he sort Sort of rocked the red zone in seven on sevens again no pads and not the defensive lineman there but still a good day for him yeah so that was good to see we did still see some struggles with the deep ball a little bit today a couple of misses down the field but just again any little bits of progress here and there that we see that's all going to be good with deshaun watson now something else today we got to hear from mike vrabel for the first time of course he's working as a consultant for the browns we have seen him running around on the field we've talked about him all the time on the orchard brown talk podcast this is a very pro mike vrabel uh, production here at cleveland.com so we got to talk to Mike for the first time today um, and I just thought it was interesting to hear him talk about how he ended up here we've heard some other guys talk about it he just seems really happy here to be a Cleveland Brown he is really happy here he's having a blast he's having so much fun with the pressures and the demands of head coaching off of his plate right now he's just running around he's sprinting he's racing you guys might have seen my tweet about that he's racing Jameis Winston after routes on air uh, he's just having so much fun out here he He's participating as a defender, simulating looks for Dewan Jones and others, and he is just involved in everything. He's really helping his former Patriots teammate Bubba Ventrone on special teams with the new kickoff rules. And of course, he's an Akron native. He's an Ohio State Buckeye. So of course, we love Mike Rabel. Yeah, and I think the thing too is it's not just the Browns who are benefiting from this, but obviously Mike, things didn't end the way he wanted them to in Tennessee. I think he thought he was going to get a head coaching job. Those things didn't quite go his way. Like when, you know, Jim Harbaugh ends up going to the Chargers, that takes that a job that I think he thought he was going to get off the table. Um, so this is just a situation where Mike too gets to step away, hit the reset button a little bit, and really kind of learn a new way of doing things. So it's not just the Browns picking up some of that Patriots and you know whatever else DNA Mike Vrabel is bringing but also he's kind of picking up some of that Browns DNA for whatever his next venture is going to be. He really is and this is a very very well run organization so he's seeing what good alignment is all about and he's had it before of course he worked in the Patriots organization for a long long time but he's seeing uh, a lot of good stuff here from Kevin Stefanski from Andrew Barry these are really really good people to work with you can tell he's really enjoying himself a lot and it's kind of paving the way for him to get back out there and become a head coach next season and I really believe he will and I do think it speaks too to like where this organization is at because to bring a head coach like Mike Vrabel in you've got to be pretty confident in yourself and you're, if you're Kevin Stefanski and obviously he should be two-time coach of the year just signed an extension uh, but you've got to believe that you know you don't mind having a guy like that around kind of looking over your shoulder helping you out giving you advice and it just speaks to the mentality of this organization that hey there's a really smart guy out there that we can get let's bring him in and see what we can get out of him yeah they do a really really good job of relying on experts and mentors and that's really what Mike Vrabel is doing in this role and he's doing a great job of it he's involved in absolutely everything he's in team meetings we talked to the safeties coach today and he said he's popping into safety meetings uh, so he's all over the place and I did ask him today is this 
more fun than you've had in a long time? And he said, yes, it is. And he will try to transfer that over to his job because it, it has reminded him that this is a game and it's fun. Okay, uh, full coverage of everything that happened here at Cleveland.com slash Browns, what Deshaun did, what else happened on the field, what Mike Vrabel had to say. Again, you can find it all, Cleveland.com slash Browns.